Hey guys, so yesterday I produced a video on the sorry state of Fractals of the Mists. Earlier in the week I produced a video about the sorry state of the story. But today I want to talk about something that was really good about Heart of Thorns. In fact, the number one feature I would say that I absolutely did not see coming, that I completely underestimated and has quite happily stolen away many hours of my time in Heart of Thorns, given me some of the most fun I've had at all in Heart of Thorns, and I absolutely didn't see coming. And that feature is adventures. So pre-launch we heard about these. They were kind of just bundled in with the idea of outposts. You know, some kind of new system that was going to be appearing on the new maps. In the original announcements of adventures, it wasn't even clear when they talked about the shootout adventure. Whether that meant we were going to get the adventure way back in Divinity's Reach. That had been promised to us pre-original Guild Wars 2 launch and never ended up in the game. But uh, adventures are a very simple idea. They are minigame style things you can do in the jungle that you can complete to get mastery points. There are three tiers of completion. If you do reasonably well at it, you get a bronze reward. If you do better, you get silver. And if you do really, really, really well, you get gold. And there are usually mastery points associated with getting silver and gold. In fact, uh, now that I've finished my Heart of Thorns based masteries, I can absolutely say that when you get into those last few things to complete, you are running low on points and that does funnel you into the adventures and you're going to end up hopefully having an awful lot of fun with them. Generally, adventures work that they're in a timer. So like you'll start the adventure and you've got somewhere around three minutes to complete a certain objective. Maybe that's to run the course of a race. Maybe that's to collect as many of a certain item as possible to kill a certain amount of enemies. That kind of thing. And the faster you complete your objective within that three minute window, the higher the reward you get. It's very simple. And then there's one final catch that they will record how well you did and give you leaderboards so that you can compare yourself with your friends and guildies. Anyone on your friends list, anyone in any of your guilds is eligible to appear on the leaderboards alongside you. Uh, and so what this means is even once you get gold, this kind of competitive spirit can take over you because you've spent so long with this one adventure learning its nuances, getting better and better and better until you get gold and now you think, yeah, I'm pretty damn good at it. Maybe I want to beat my friend. You know, you might see that that one guy who you hang out with every day is two seconds faster and you could think, no, I'm not having this. I'm going to beat him so I can brag about it later on. And that is absolutely something I've seen. This tiny inclusion of a little bit of leaderboard action has been a really great addition to the adventures feature. I have heard not one account, not two accounts, but three different accounts of various groups of friends and people I know who are competing for places in leaderboards. And I think ArenaNet will have been worried about features like this for a long time because it's the kind of feature where you pit people in PvE against one another. When Guild Wars 2 is so about being with one another, there's kind of a fear there could be a level of toxicity that grows out of that, and there's absolutely not. I think the reason that there's not a level of toxicity that's growing out of it is because the leaderboards specifically aren't global leaderboards. They don't present you every single person. They only present you with people you're generally somewhat associated with. So people on your friends list, you're probably going to have a bit of banter about fighting over a certain place on the leaderboards where one of you is being secretive about your technique and the other person's got to figure it out. Rather than uh, if it was global leaderboards and you just got depressed every time you finished your adventure and you saw you were a million miles away from the top 10 people ever. You can feel other times too by lifetime who's done it the fastest ever and uh, daily and this is actually really good too because I for example not that good at the adventures I'll, open, I'll hold my hands up and admit it in the first couple of days maybe I appeared somewhere on the lifetime leaderboards but as time's gone on people have got much better at them I generally don't appear there but you can always look and smile a little at the daily leaderboards and you might think oh well you know the day how good are the daily leaderboards really how many of your friends and guildies will also have done that happens to have done that one adventure during that day but because the adventures give a reasonable amount of experience and people are still generally going for masteries if they haven't farmed them, you tend to find a lot of people have been running them, and all in all, it's good fun. There are a couple of issues, uh, particularly when you do get quite high in the leaderboards, you will start to see like the top 10 lifetime, and it does become quite apparent, and Guild Wars 2 is definitely not a game I ever really associate with, with an abundance of hacking. You know, in many MMOs, hacking is a much bigger thing. You very rarely see it in Guild Wars 2, but it is there. Usually people talk about it with World vs. World. It is pretty apparent when you get to some of these adventures. 
Uh, some of these times are basically impossible. One of them, uh, you're going to be seeing on this video in a second, I'm playing with my friend. They get the top score in something like 9 seconds when it takes at least 70 seconds to get through the course. At least 70, as far as I can see. But to do it in like 7, it's clear somebody just fly hacked their way up or took advantage of some weird glitch. That's a bit of a shame, and because they only do lifetime leaderboards, I'm not actually sure how easily ArenaNet can just remove individual records. And I'm not sure it's really in their best interest either to be dedicating resources constantly on people that have to monitor the adventure leaderboards and remove people like that. All I can say is if you are fly hacking, if you are doing something stupid like in Guild of Sioux, and you put yourself explicitly on a leaderboard that shows that your account has been doing that, I'm pretty sure that's a fast ticket to a ban. So maybe we won't see that in the future, but I actually quite liked uh, one of the GW1 systems they did for something very similar to this. They were known as competitive missions back then. They were much bigger, they weren't so fast, they weren't so short, they weren't so repeatable, but, and they were group-based, but competitive missions were the same kind of idea. And for them, in Guild Wars 1, you didn't have a lifetime score, you actually had a quarterly score. So you could like be the best of the day, the best of the week, or the best of the quarter. And maybe by doing that, you know, everyone's going to get culled away automatically by then, and maybe you're reading it, don't have to look so closely at it. But in any case, that definitely doesn't detract from, from the fun. And what I just said there about them being very fast is absolutely true too. I remember during TwitchCon, uh, one of the devs who've been working on a lot of the adventures came, sat down, talked about it. There is definitely value here in the way they have designed the system to be repeatable. And uh, it's very well done. Basically, if you fail for whatever reason, if you feel like you're really going for a very tight time and you make a tiny little mistake really early on in your race, for example. So today on the stream, I played a lot of the mushroom race, a lot of it. It was a lot of fun and we were really getting into it. But if I made a tiny mistake at the start, it's as simple as just pressing your elite skill in any adventure and in that very second, it'll throw up a little window and you can click reset. And at the second you click reset, you're back at the start. Your health is back. All your cooldowns are back. Your movement speed's reset. You're out of combat. Your uh, orientation and position is precisely placed exactly where it needs to be. And away you go. And the adventures are designed in small spaces generally, or if they're races, to be kind of circular. So if you do click that, it's rare that you get like a loading screen when you click reset. So it's like two seconds and you can restart. Two seconds, you can restart. And because the general scope of the adventures is generally only around three minutes in the first place, you don't get this horrible, frustrating feeling of play doing like a perfect run for six minutes straight and it's been intense and horrible. And then in the seventh minute, you mess up and then it just feels horrible and soul crushing to go back to the start. You don't experience that. Anyway, I hate using this example because it's probably the most used example of a video game for this kind of design ever these days. But Super Meat Boy is a game that I played a while ago. Fantastic game that I loved very much and was quite a difficult at times uh, platformer. But its key that made it fun, even if it could be difficult at times, was that levels could be restarted so fast. And that's exactly the kind of situation Adventures for Guild Wars 2 has pushed in. And they did it perfectly. Something like this with all this brand new infrastructure they threw in could have gone wrong in so many ways when you look at what's gone wrong with other areas of the expansion and it just didn't. It worked off the go. It's been great. There are some weird inconsistencies. Now, there has been a bit of discussion on the accessibilities of adventures. Now, what ArenaNet have done is they kind of lock adventures off in maps while big meta event stuff's going on. So in the Auric Basin, right, uh, uh, let's do Tangled Depths, right? In Tangled Depths, for about 15 minutes every two hours, there's a huge meta going on. And generally, ArenaNet want everyone to be on the same side and pushing that meta event. They don't want to create hostility between players where, you know, I'm trying to organize a Chuck Garrett kill and there's some random people super intent on doing adventures, filling up slots on my map, and I can't bring in people we want to do the event. You know, that would suck. So what they do is they disable the adventures for that time period. So there was a little criticism at this, uh, the idea that maybe they weren't accessible enough. Early on after Heartthorns came out, there was a patch to deal with this for some of the biggest outliers. And I have to say, I've never really been offended by this at all. Today, I played tons of the mushroom race. Tons of it. A fungus among us, it's called. Loads of it. And I got my gold just in time for the next meta event to pop, so it wasn't like I felt forced away at all. In fact, the timing was pretty much perfect. The only time I've been irritated by this was one of the adventures where you are driving around in a car in a drone race, racing through the jungle. Uh, one of the adventures I was most excited to try, you can ramp over ramps and do all kinds of crazy stuff, uh, had always been locked off for me because the meta event revolving around it was always bugging and stalling. But once the stalling events are fixed, that issue went away too. The last real thing I guess you could nitpick at with adventures is there does seem to be quite a d wide degree of inconsistency with how difficult it is to get gold. Some of them, like the drone race I just talked about, 
You can get gold. I got gold like on my second ever run. I didn't make it to the, the the end on the first run because I messed up and missed a checkpoint, right? Then I did the second one, and within 60 seconds on my second run, I had gold. There was really nothing to it. It was just using skill one a couple of times, and that was it. It was very minimal. It was easy. And some of the adventures definitely are like this. There's one in the sky above the auric basin that is exactly the same. I got gold straight away. Yet there's some other ones that gold is really difficult. Sometimes gold is really well tuned, like Fungus Among Us. I tried, I tried, I tried. I did really particular special things. Finally got gold and it was great. But uh, in other situations, gold seems almost impossible. Everyone will be familiar with the Vernon Brink shootout. It seems almost impossible. There's uh, one where you're a giant golem in Tangled Depths that again, gold seems like I cannot fathom how people get it. But here's what's great about the leaderboard system. You know, people do get it. You know that it is possible. Why? Because you look at that lifetime tab and you see a couple of your totally badass friends have managed to make it. So uh, I guess all I would call for really is a bit more consistency. I would have liked to have spent as much time in the drone race, for example, as I did in Fungus Among Us and really learned the drone race very well. But I feel like I don't really want to go there anymore because I already got gold. I already got my mastery point. And that's basically it. We'll see whether this is a feature people on mass abandon after they've got their mastery so experience isn't worth anything and after they've got their mastery points from that adventure so again there's no need for that but for now while they're rewarding they've been a great part of the expansion something i definitely didn't pay enough attention to i thought oh this will be kind of a cool little thing you know we run around with our flamethrower in verdant brink that sounds fun but uh it really has been phenomenal and taken a considerable amount of my playtime. all right in the rest of the vi this video guys i got together with my friend boots who hasn't been on the channel for ages so give him a wide welcome, and uh, I showed him some adventures because he hadn't done a single one yet. And of course, I started him off easy and took him to the shootout. Enjoy, everyone. We're gonna do the archery, the shooting gallery. Shooting gallery. Okay. Shooting gallery, so baby. So do you remember? What is the shooting gallery? Do you remember launch guild was two boots? Uh, yeah. That thing. Do you remember activities way back when? Uh, yeah, yeah, and then, then we never got any of them except for like one or two. Yeah, that didn't really do you remember those old dev demos that used to run through Divinity's Reach and be like, oh, okay, so here, here we're running past the uh, the shooting gallery, and uh -huh. uh, over here you're going to be able to compete with your friends for high scores. Do you remember mm -hmm. that? Yeah, I remember that. Do you remember those accents as well? Those were those were a key <laughs> part of it. Yeah, I, I noticed you you got that arena net accent down pat. Yeah, yeah the the patented arena net accent. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So we're gonna be doing this now. Um, <laughs> they never put that in, but they did eventually put this in. How does this work exactly? We're gonna be doing five, ten minutes of fighting each other. All right, let's the... go ten minutes. We'll put ten minutes on the clock, okay? Okay. And, and the basically person... as long as it takes for. Oh me to no! Be... But we've only got five minutes till nightfall. All right, we should go right now. We okay, should go so right now. Just the, the, the person minutes. with a high score before nightfall, okay? So the, the, activity, the activities don't work during nightfall. Yeah, they don't work during nightfall. Oh. In Vernon Brink. The other ones are a lot more accessible. All right, so I'll go easy on you for the first one. Okay, this okay, is basically this the the second hardest adventure that I know about. So I've never finished oh, it. God. So that's why why I kind of want to okay, show Okay, this is literally my first adventure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's fine. It's fine. You'll probably get bronze. Uh, it's a really unique one. Okay, so when you press play, it's going to force you into action combat. Just go for it now. And what okay. I recommend you do is you go first person. First person. Yes. Okay, why? Because this works better as a first-person adventure. You can, oh, but you can I can't... choose later. But you see you got the crosshair in the middle of your screen. Okay, hold on. I can't... I don't know what my skills are. Alright, yeah, it's just... Okay, skill one is shoot, yeah. and skill two is a barrage. That's it. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay? Got it. Um, got it. So you see this dummy here with the blue icon over his head? You want to shoot it? The one that says Liz? No, no, no. The other one. Go on. Oh, the other dummy. Okay. Wow, the other dummy. I feel terrible now. We're not allowed to record video skill anymore. Okay, so I got it. Got All it. right, so now it's going to move the icon over there. And you're going to shoot this one. Got it. All right, now it's going to move the icon over here. Oh, okay, and it's on the map too. Yes. And he's in the wall. And he's behind a wall. Yeah. There you go. All right, and then you want to... And then that's basically it. And then okay, you go that's... for it. What's the point of barrage? And why... Barrage because... Oh, okay, okay. And so you shouldn't be like running into here. It's literally just standing out here. Because if you run in, if you you can run in and you'll get a better shot. But if you run in, you're gonna miss when it when the when the dummies start moving. You're gonna like have further to run, and you're not gonna be able to turn quick enough and just shoot. Do you okay. See? But this yeah, is but really hard to get gold on. For what it's oh, like. there's that next one. Okay, I see. I see what's going on here. I see. Okay, so gold is what you want to get. What do you have currently? I have 12 out of 15 right now. Oh, oh, my best ever, I've only ever had bronze on it. Really? The best I've ever had, I've only got like 23 out of 25, I think it is, for silver. 
Oh okay, no, like gonna... 23 out of 30 for silver. I'm gonna restart this thing. Shooting gallery, here we go. Oh, you're already restarting, outrageous. Well, yeah, I, I was committing I to this was... run even though I knew it was terrible. I didn't know what I was doing here. All right. First person, I think you're lying about the first person. No, no, thing. first person's really good. Well, mm, it's it's difficult because on an Asura, you're really close to the floor. Yeah, it's really tough. And <laughs> it, tell it you. scrolls you out of first person every time you restart, so it's like annoying to try and scroll back in. But I do think it's better once you get once you get a roll going. I do think it's a little better. What's the point of the rapid fire? It just helps you in. Well, to be honest, I'm not even that good at the rapid fire. Oh god, okay. There we go. Okay, it's annoying though that they spawn quite slowly, so sometimes. I'm looking at the map too while I do this. Yeah, oh, I'm man, not very good at paying attention to the map at the same time. Oh, I got an amazing shot there. That was so good. Oh, and there. I'm way better at you than this. What do you mean you're I, way I better? I can just at tell me? right now, because we're at about the same place. We're shooting the same dummy right now. Look, this is this is what happens if Guild Wars 2 is a first-person shooter. How do you feel about that fact? Oh my god. The, the so, bushes are horrible. There, I'd use the rapid fire on that over there. Because of the bush? Yeah. Like, and I've tried calling my graphics settings down to make the bushes look better. I accidentally rapid fired over his head. Oh, can you move your thing while you rapid fire? Uh, can you move your character? Or your crosshair? Yeah, your crosshair. Yeah, you can move it. I think you're ahead of me. God damn it. No! This is where it sucks. See, this is why you need to stay way back. Oh. You see? I see. And then don't run in there either, because you got you got to shoot these ones over here now. Oh, I'm doing really oh, no. good. I think this is the best I've ever done. This is terrible. I'm doing I hate really this game. Good. No. I feel terrible, is... actually. I'm sorry about this, Boots. You but should... I, I'm, I'm... You, what you basically did was bring me into the thing that you're the best at. No, 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 then... no, no. The one I'm best at is the one called Leyline Run. I mean, we can do that next if you like. No, I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Close. Okay, I got bronze. And did I get silver? No, I got a bonus chest. Oh Let's my do it God, again. I'm so good. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, did I get silver? I got silver. Oh, you're the worst. Oh, my God. I got 30 out of 40. That's as good as I'm ever getting. 10 seconds left. Left. There you go. You're on your last attempt here. I'm not gonna. Get, <laughs> I'm not gonna get it. All right. All right. We'll Although do I'm doing better. We'll you do were one lying of your about. You were I've lying not done about many of the adventures. Okay. And we'll you're have lying about practice. first person view because it's so much easier not in first person view. Really? Yeah. 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 I think for an Asura, you, you might be right. To be honest. Oh man, this is so much better. No oh, boots. <clears throat> How how f can I continue it underneath the uh, but like when it's still nighttime? Can you like if I start it before nighttime? Can I continue it after nighttime? Um, no. I think the next time you leave, you can't do it again. I think. Uh oh. <laughs> oh my uh -oh, God. Things are happening. I, I protect you. It's fine. It's Help fine. me. <laughs> can I shoot the bad guys with this? Uh, no. Like it go like there's little balls wandering around as well, and I think they can obstruct you or you shoot through. I don't know. I can't really be sure. Oh man. But like that this is just like one of the ones that's really difficult to get gold on. Yeah. So that's why I, I kinda that. went for that because it was like But I like this. This is like it's really balanced because because there's there's no like inherent better class for this or Yeah. Except Asura obviously sucks. Wow. Oh that Should no that more. is true actually that Asura does suck. It genuinely does suck, yeah. Oh god. Okay, help me. You're supposed to be helping me. Dude, do, do you ever have moments where you realize you're a bit of a nerd? No, never. Really? Because I just had one. I realized, I think I had a dream. This is so bad. I think I had a dream last night that I got a mastery that meant I was doing more damage to the Mordrum. And it was wow. a mastery. <laughs> and it was a mastery basically designed to make the jungler's face roll as Cordyria. <laughs> Wow. And it only just occurred to me that I had that dream. You dreamed I about <laughs> mastery. Okay, so it looks like I'm not very good at this one. To be honest, you, I just got a really good luck, lucky fluky hits. Have you done uh, all of the adventures already? No. Well, mm, have I done all of them? I haven't m mastered all of them. I think I might have bronze. You have them. done all of them. I think I've, oh I've dipped my toe into all of them. Okay. Since it's nighttime in Verdant Brink now, 
and it will be that mm-hmm. across all maps. Basically, the Verdant Brink ones are off the table now, but we can go to the Auric Basin if you like and get some of those ones. I'll okay, tell you one that, that I barely tr- uh, the one that I barely practice and could be a lot of fun for us to try. Which one's that? All right, so go to the Forgotten City Waypoint, the one in the very middle of Turret. But I think this is a better one too because it's like more visceral. We're fighting against each other. We could see what we're shooting at, or not instead of just like shooting at random targets. All right, all right, all right. Okay, are you ready? Okay, so on the count of three, two, one, go. Oh, oh God. God! All right, all right. Uh, right. This so way. it's How like. Uh, oh, this. okay, okay. So what? If we fall, does that mean that just the person loses? Uh, yeah, pretty much. But there's there's like proper combos of skills you can use like in certain time on this. Oh, so don't forget, you, you can use the... Did you fall? No. You can use like no. the skill one and then glide at the end. And then like oh. you... It's basically you want to time your cooldowns. I shouldn't look back at you. What am I doing? I shouldn't look back at you. Uh, nothing happened. Did you fall? Oh! No! no. Well, you're dead. Oh, but you can restart. All I right. could restart. Okay, so you shouldn't. Uh, you shouldn't. Should I go again then? What? What does that no, mean? No, no, no. You should. Yeah, you should fight? totally jump off of the. Uh... Oh, yeah, you're climbing totally. again. Oh God. All right. Well, look. I don't know how this is going now, but it's... we'll just have to do it from the timer. Right. Okay. Okay. Do this. I mean, they, these are so cool. Like honestly, these are cool. I've seen like cool. friends get crazy competitive over it as well. Like crazy competitive. What do you mean? Like, do they like like they'll go against each other on the leaderboards, and they'll be like, "I'm seventh in the world. I'm sixth God. in the world. Oh. I'm the worst. I'm the worst at this." Ooh, Reach it. Play. Go. Go. I'm I'm just sort of going casually right now because I feel like I'm racing against you rather than against the clock. But again, this one's not an e- uh, not an easy one to get going either, to be honest. This is yeah. This is kind of tough. Oh, you, you should see how tight the timing is to get to the very top. It's uh, you got you really got to use a lot of your abilities. I'm not. Oh, is is oh, it's timed to get to the top too. Yes, yeah, yeah. You got three minutes to get to the top, and then uh, if you make it in two minutes instead or whatever it is, you get gold kind of thing. Oh my! Oh, I just made it's... a great play there. Oh me! Oh how my. great! What did you do? I just I, it to I, me I glided in at the perfect detail. time. I used my skill. That skill three, by the way. Okay, the thing with the skill three is you can use it like super high up, and um, like on the ceiling above you, and it it can like sometimes it can <laughs> launch you like really high. I made a great play too, but then I uh, <laughs> forgot to press the skill two again, so I flew off the side. Oh no, boots. <sighs> There's a weird bug with this skill bar, though, at the same time, where it's like, um... Oh, this is so pretty in here. There's, like, a freaking campfire. Oh, God. Okay, I'm up. Beyond a waterfall. Skill 3 is the best. Yeah, skill 3 is insane. But there's a bug where if you glide at the height of skill 3 or something, when you use it directly above you, you, like, stop moving. It's like you're walking in quicksand. It's really odd. I barely have any opportunity to use the skill 2. I think using that skill 2, toggling it on and then off quickly... Like, you it's could go dangerous. so fast, but you need to recognize it's the opportunity. so dangerous. There's like a bit been... where you go up a really thin branch, Boots. Tell me when you get there. That's not happening. Really? <laughs> oh, just relax. Just go slowly. You can do no! it without any of the skills. This is... Um, I gotta... Oh, no. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I ended up doing. I got to the top once, right? Slowly. Uh, I have 30 seconds left, and I'm right near the end here. Um, I got to the top so you're once. Finish it? Slowly. And so then... you did it already. Then I, uh, then I like kept doing the first five seconds of the thing, really, re- over and over and over again. There you go. I got bronze. Great, congratulations. Bronze. <laughs> the time to beat. Come on, just get to the top. The time to beat is three oh nine. Oh my god, I did it again. What? Did, what are you doing wrong? What is going on here? Instead of doing that, you're better than skill, these boots. Instead of doing skill three on that big jump. I've been trying to do skill one and then deploy the fat number two in midair. Oh, always skill three, my friend. Always skill yeah. three. I know, I know. But oh, the point I'm doing is... amazing this time. Great. <laughs> oh, I'm actually so happy with my progress on this one. Oh, I'm on the long thin branch. Oh god! I tried it. I went for the daring skill two up it, and it didn't work. Did you do it? You didn't do it, did you? I didn't do it very well, no. Oh, what is this? I just made a crazy play. Apparently. Oh no! Jesus Christ, I just got the most ridiculous skill three you will have ever seen in your life. I mean, you've not okay. seen many in your life just yet, but it was a good one. 
All right, all right, we're gonna we're gonna have to wrap this up because we got boost bandits. Okay, but wait, I want to show you the awesome. All right, thing. all right, all right. I'm waiting at the first checkpoint. Okay. All right. Okay, I'm coming to you. Okay. <laughs> you made me laugh while I was drinking water. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm here. Yeah. But then look, look, look what I can do. Ready? Yeah. Skill one. Glide. Skill two. Oh, and you land right there. That's really cool. It's amazing. That is really cool. That's badass. And then, and then go over there. Yeah. Oh, this is fun. I bet there's a lot of skill cap to this. I bet you could do it again here, surely. The, the, the problem is the yeah, reason the only... Oh! I know. The only reason you beat me, man, is because I've been trying to push this game to its limits. Yeah, that's what I was doing the other day. You don't want to do that, though. You don't want to do that. Well, look, when potatoes is the victor, we'll see how this goes. No! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do this until I win.